Welcome to my first video that I take film with my new camera. Um, I forgot which button to use while I was filming, so I had to keep it in automatic mode for the duration of the video. So the one time it's not in automatic mode was in the very beginning, which is the reason why it was so dark, because I was trying to figure out which button to get my exposure. So the first part of the video that you see as um, Doyle starts talking will be dark but it will lighten up I didn't want to cut it out because he did make some very important um, points on there and I wanted to make sure it was put in the, kept in the video so because this is what the group is about so and I didn't want to ruin that so with that um, please enjoy the video and this is why I don't go in front of the camera because I sound like an idiot all the time so but I thought you guys would get a kick out of it so all right, thank you and uh, enjoy the video.
I am an American soldier. That means a lot to most of you here. It means a lot to some of you here who were married to a soldier, uh, raised by a soldier, are the proud parents of a soldier. But it all means something to all of us. Something very special. The men and women who are coming out here or have been brought out here since last Wednesday have done so and been buried direct burial without honors. Today we are here to give them their honors. Because however many years ago, like our three or four newbies this morning, they retired from a very extensive career in their various services and are now leading productive lives in other areas and from without. Most of us stood next to them and took that same oath. When we took that oath, one of the things we did was promise each other that we would be there or someone would be there at the ending of their days. Many of our vets have no families. <coughs> Some of them lived on the streets. Some of them lived in their own homes, but without any family contact. They have outlived their family. The family has turned their back on them for whatever reason. Or the vet has chosen to turn his back on the family. Many, many vets suffer PTSD, depression, because of Robin Williams. That's a big thing in the, in the uh, news this week. So if you know a vet like that, take them somewhere or try to convince them that it's their idea to go seek help. Depression is not something to be ashamed of. It's a, it's a disease, it's an illness, and we'd rather see them around than not around. There's a lot of VA centers around that will get them help, and that's part of our duties also is to support our veterans before they wind up coming out here without a family to stand by them. But we are here and we are their family. The veterans without family that we are honoring today are as follows. Alexander Gwynn, United States Marine Corps. William Walls, United States Navy. Robert Pul Pulvers, United States Navy. James Muser, United States Army. Robert Kellen, United States Army. Mark Gasper, United States Marine Corps. John Hostetler, United States Army. Moose Evans, United States Army. Gary Langer, United States Army. Harry Mel, United States Navy. Daniel D. Zubi, United States Navy. I want to say a special prayer for Larry. He's a good friend to all of us. And my grandson thinks the world of him. I'll tell a little bit, a little bit of a story about that. We were at a mission, and I don't remember whose it was, but it was extremely crowded. And there were double lines for the flag line. And Daniel and I, my grandson, were in the back row. And uh, Larry comes up to me and says, no, he's coming in the front row with me because i got a spot in the front row. He should see everything that's going on. And that day, he, my grandson decided, he's a pretty good guy, I like him. Which is unusual, not many people. <laughs> but uh, just 
just a special prayer for Larry. God, please have your angels wrap your wings around, around him and protect him. Guide the surgeons, the nursing staff, in his care. Please take care of him. Amen. 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 Reading from the Bible. For our struggle is not against the flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, but against the powers of the dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in heavenly realms. The battle we face is not a physical one. Instead, it is a spiritual battle with powers that we do not easily see and which are very powerful. We shouldn't dismiss this as an imaginary battle or a relevant struggle. Just as clearly as Satan is crouching at, was crouching at Cain's door, desiring to have him, so he crouches at our door. He was used his forces of evil to do all he can to defeat, destroy, or corrupt us. We must take this war seriously and recognize the spiritual power of our fold. If we cannot do him honor, while well, he's here to hear the praise, then at least let's give him homage at the ending of his days. Perhaps just a simple headline in a paper that would say, our country is in mourning, a soldier died today. Thank you all for being here.